Frank Williams was an ordinary man who did extraordinary things. He was, a, what they say, a good guy, someone to be proud of. He was an, the ultimate humanitarian. He cared about people. Frank was a type of person that if he believed in something, you couldn't stop him. He gave his athletes exposure. That was the teacher in him. You know, he believed that the little things made the big difference. He was always in the game, always. He couldn't ask for a better friend. He just had this deep care and concern for others. And his demeanor and his character can still touch so many lives. You know, there's some coaches who teach basketball, and there are other coaches who play at basketball. Frank's teams were never like that. They were always very well schooled in the game. He was old school. Coach Williams uh, provided an environment where uh, young guys like me could uh, develop the game. Uh, I guess he sort of pointed us toward looking uh, at the future. For a long time, a lot of people were talking about he never could win the big game, but he actually won everything. I lost my husband to brain cancer in 1987, and you look at all of the things that you've tried to do for your children, and you're wondering, how am I going to survive this? I don't think I fully grasped what was happening. I just knew that the person that I love was suddenly not there. For a long time, my mom always expressed that she wanted to do something to give back to Coolidge. We started the fund because we obviously believed very strongly in the work that our father had done. Higher education was so important to my dad. He knew that it was a way to open up a lot of doors. <laughs> 